All right, um, somebody requested a very, very aggressive Legion build. Normally with Legion, I recommend that you uh, take your time to injure a person, injure a person, get rid of a pallet, you know, listen to someone in the distance, cancel your power, then go, you know, prepare the board for later and then pick your car your target very carefully. Uh, no such thing. We have the Cold Dirt and the Joyce Mixtape, which is going to allow us to cancel our power more quickly. And the moment we hit a bitch, we fucking go for that. If we get multiple, great. If not, do fucking bad. We also have Fuck You, I Don't Fear Pallets. Enduring and Brutal Strength, which is the ultimate fuck you. It means that you break the pallets so much fucking quicker. They really can't do much. Alright. She's gonna drop. No, she's not. Show my red light. Show it again. Perfect. She has Iron Will, which took me a second to, like, make sure. But yeah. Uh, people sometimes don't take into account the fact that you can drop... You can go through that little broken, you know... Um, handhold, whatever you, you call it, by the stairs. So they don't expect you to swing as quickly. Back to the fucking guy. He already healed up because he's got a good med kit, which is perfect. He wasted a lot of time and we're about to un Oh, nice. We're about to undo all of that. At this distance, I'm almost sure that even without durations, we, we get him. And even if we don't, we swing like a fucking mad lad. Yep, we definitely get him. They did one gen. Oh, fuck, dude. I, I needed to swing like a second earlier and that would have been perfect. Doesn't matter, we still got him. What a short killer. We can kind of hide on pallets. I do that a lot. I think it helps. Pretend to break it. He runs away. Mm, all right. Tried to condition him before with brutal strength, but no, he still waited. Ooh, he might get himself there. I'm not gonna chase after him. I'm gonna come here. Kill back one more time, and now it's gonna be blocked. And he's fucked. There you go. Be careful. Survivors can still block, uh, can still go through a block window if they're quick enough. If they go like, okay, this is the fang. She's gonna give me a hit here. But she did that poorly. That's all I want. She might have breakout or whatever, it doesn't matter. We still have a point. Back to the Meg on that house, probably. Because that's where I imagine she went. But yeah, uh, that guy could have gone three times through that uh, window. And if they're really, really quick, they can go a fourth time before it blocks. Because, you know, the game is badly coded. She went through there one more time. I heard the floor board. At this time, I didn't even fucking show myself. Just fucking fuck it. All right. Oh, I've got Ruin, that's right. Forgive me, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, the point of Ruin in this build is that we're super, super aggressive and we don't have to worry uh, about kicking things. Uh, of course, it's a bit of a gamble, but it helped us quite a lot. That gen would have been done by now if Ruin didn't aggress it passively while we were elsewhere. Second hook for her, first hook for the Jake. And injure on the Fang, injure on the uh, Jane as well. This gen had some progress, it's now dead. I imagine chain is going back. Going back then. Let's go. Catch marks. Someone's here. There we go. Not sure where the other guy is to be completely honest, but I'll dig it, I guess. The only thing I'm missing a little bit is, you know, maybe barbecue or fluent tremors or something, so I know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, I hear someone. What are you doing here, man? No heartbeat, meaning no one's gonna go for the rescue uh, just yet. I'm gonna cancel my power right here. Instead of having three seconds of stun, I only have, like, you know, what, one with enduring? Very, very little. So, and I also didn't lose my power, so if now I had another chance to use it, I would. I'm going for this fucker. He's the one closest to the rescue. Now if the Fang is far away, which she probably is, because we didn't hear her heartbeat earlier when we stabbed her, that means she has to come all the way from there. Beautiful. She killed herself. That was their own fucking doing. Their own great to do gens and not let go of them because of Ruin. Just kill that woman. And we knew that they couldn't come because we, again, didn't hear a heartbeat after stabbing the mech. So, not, not GG. Not GG at all. BG. 
We fear absolutely no fucking pilots. That are not. Who's that? And we saw the mech right over there last time. Pick him up quick. Wow, we have a hook right here as well. Meg, you are quite fucked. You better be coming for the rescue right now. She instead heal herself with her med kit, if I'm not mistaken. Or with self-care. I imagine a med kit, though. So she has to be around somewhere. Last time we spotted her here. There. She must be in the building and her clothes. Yep. See the bird up? She's going through the building and for the rescue. I'm going to use my power to get ahead of her. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stab her. Actually, I'm going to wait. Oh, she killed herself. Okay, cool. Uh, stab her. Gain the distance. Only three second cooldown. I'm actually gonna stab ahead of her. And body block. Ah! You can't even get in here. Bye bye. Do you know any way to level up faster for ear shards? No. Ear shards, you only get them uh, during like a set amount of time. Just make sure your games don't end too quickly and make sure your ends, your games don't go for too long. And that's how you, you know, when you get to the 10 minute mark, um, uh, who was it that figured it out? Was it Pain Deliver? I think Pain Deliver figured out that 10 minute games are optimal, but it doesn't make a huge difference. So, nah, just play again. Uh. Wow, that's a lot of unbreakables, a lot of decisives, and I did absolutely nothing for them. What did you look like? <laughs> they got fuck all points, I either. Stupid game. Stupid game indeed. I feel really bad that one of them killed themselves. But seeing that their teammates did really not collaborate too much, so they were a bit selfless. I this was probably the perfect thing to be aggressive on. Let's try to let's try to do it again though. That was a fun that was a fun build. We did not get to use uh our bamboozle very much, mind you. But that's okay, I suppose. Alright. Mmm this is the one map with the one nasty window where, where bamboozle might have actually been really, really helpful. Uh, this time around, we're switching up our perks a bit, and we're still gonna play aggressive. I don't have the cold dirt anymore, so my cooldown from 4 seconds, now it's 0, 2, and 0, 4, so it's 3.4, which is terrible. We haven't even started the game, and they're already on this window. Boy, oh boy. You're very close, aren't you? Okay, then. Thanks. Done me. You do me a favor. We're also running Enduring and Spirit of Fury. She tried to blind me after a stun. Doesn't work with Enduring. Because it cuts the stun time in half. Uh, she's going towards Hat, towards Shack. And depending on how good the player is, this could really take you for a while. Let's switch it up. Actually, this girl is. No, fuck it. Normal. I was hoping to get the pilot as well if he was like panicky, but he did well. He, he took the hit and run the fuck away. I saw the other girl. Oh, this is perfect. She's right here as well. I'm gonna go around a bit. She's literally right here. You need to drop this right now. Dumb, dumb bitch. She has a flashlight. There's a drop pilot and a person on the ground. She was dying. She was trying to do the CJ tech. In a situation like that, the killer instinctively, you know, instinctively tries to break the pallet. If she vaults it, my prompt to break the pallet goes away, and the only thing I can do is pick up. While I pick him up, she vaults, vaults back, begins to flashlight uh, right at me, and the timing is perfect to get the flashlight safe. If you're a killer and you're in a situation like that, you just wait a tiny little bit and see their stupid asses come at you. If they're healthy, you take a hit. If they're injured, you immediately grab them. No, thank you. So yeah, don't do that. That's silly. Someone's here, though. I heard breathing, but I think that's my own. <laughs> Funnily enough. We got two people hooked next to each other, and someone who's really close. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna make you all a favor and just go away. Uh, am I stupid or what? There you go, that's two people, I think. Or just one. See if that girl had B2. Yep, B2. Closer reco uh, quicker recovery thanks to the add on. I think she used that art there. Alright. That's two people with B2. And she went into this locker. Now she'll DS us because she thinks she's really, really good at the game. And it's a little bit of a sad affair, but no worries. We'll get them. 
Pasmar and Tentia, thank you for the prime, you both, by the way. I missed that. It's a bit silly that someone who's injured can have the protection from BT and whatever else, but that's totally fine. We'll get you, don't worry. If you want our attention, you shall get it. Maybe. That was Amal here showing me her aura, so I'm just gonna try to cut her off a bit. If she was smart, she went back. She was very smart, woman. I'm not gonna actually tunnel her. If I see someone else, I'll go for them. Now you're in trouble. She already used her dead heart. I think we catch her here. And we have Spirit of Fury up too for the next full. Let's go. But yeah, in a situation like that, I'm very sorry. I would have stayed away further from the basement. And I would have been just a bit more campy. And they would have had a bit more trouble doing that, I'm afraid. This make just gifted us a hit. And with Spirit of Fury up, we might be able to get another one really quickly. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is she going? Okay, good to know. There was an atom here before. They're, they're working on Gen Soap. She's up. Okay, someone else is going. Well, that was infuriating. They're just not healing for some reason. Hello, Meg. So let's see. We had on the we had Adam and her hooked. Don't think that works. Oh, you're quite fucked. Um, she's gonna fake it. Now she used her dead heart, and she'll fucking fail dramatically as well. Last person finished a gen, which I was hearing before, and has to be in front of me right fucking now. In fact, I think he's behind this. Yep. Uh, unbreakable on the Meg. Yep, yep, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going for uh, Baudette though. She didn't have time to recover. Where is she? Oh, she made it through the window when I hit her, right. Uh, if I leave the scale here, she could have Unbreakable as well. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Pretend to hook, just in case they greet a little bit and they go for the rescue and then I get a sneaky hit. I have been doing Spirit Fury, but it hasn't charged up. Let's see if we can need another one. Good shit. I don't know why she ran back over here. I'm gonna get another Spirit Fury up from here. I'll chase in this direction so that she can get to the window very easily. If she stuns me. Perfect. Now back for those two guys. I think I'm just I'm just farming like these uh, pallets so that I can get it down and then when someone tries to run me for a bit long I can get another down. I'm all ears and cool now. Okay, I have to panic and go for that. Oh fuck you, Adam. And we got a really good pallet out of the way again. Ooh. You're gonna have full games of Legion where Enduring and Spirit Fury don't do anything. Um, that's because you didn't force survivors to drop the pallets. Maybe you use your power too much and they decided not to drop them. Uh, sometimes you can play perfectly and, you know, they still don't drop pallets, so don't don't overthink it. I don't think these perks are amazing on him. That little moment of hesitation, not wanting to... You have dead hard, don't you? I think she dead hard for the pallet, but I'm not sure. Either way, we got her. I didn't want to chase and then have her do that in front of me. And we started the game by chasing this girl in this window. We might end it doing the same thing. Quick and quiet on a Jane. I always suspect that they're gonna have... Uh... I always suspect that they're gonna have a head on as well. Uh, now I can do this all fucking day. The mech had Unbreakable and she's already used to it. If she didn't have... If we didn't know if she had Unbreakable, then we would have to... We would have to guess if she has it or not. But if she's already used it and we know for a fact, which we do, then we are 100% sure that we can chase this girl for as long as we want. 
And the worst thing that can happen is that the Meg walks a little bit too far and we can find her. Mikalio Akampa, 100%. They went down next to each other twice, and I had like two people next to each other twice, so that's their fucking mistake. If you if that happens with a Billy, then I understand that, because Billy, you know, comes out of fucking nowhere, saws you, you're in the ground, then he does a good play, another guy on the ground. But Le Legion can't do that. Legion gives you a big, big fucking warning that he's coming. If you get down like that, you just play probably badly. Meg can have no matter to get up multiple times. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Or she can just fucking Kobe. Like every survivor does in every single game. Good job. This is the best Legion build? No, I don't think so. But somebody asked for an aggressive Legion build, and I came up with two of them really quickly, and that's what I would say. Oh, they did use the <laughs> the luck offering structure. GG, okay. I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> oh, poor Adam was going for the adept. Yeah, don't do auto like that with one stack. This perk is so bad with one stack. It, even if you get it at three, it does almost nothing. <laughs> and when you get it at when you're at the start, it like makes your healing worse. Uh oh, diversion is okay at level one, I guess. And deliverance is okay at level one too. But he got hooked first uh, or second. He didn't get to chance to use it. So basically, at yeah, no perks. Uh, the other guys though were pretty stacked, you know, DSDS, borrowed time on everybody, good death, good balance landing by the mech, honestly. I almost get her though, should have been a bit more careful. Uh, I guess the uh, lock off frames work, hold on.